Hey, bitch, check, make a bitch sweat. I got some Gucci on. I stay in my lane, I don't fuck with them. I don't know what you be on. Hot one, hot two, my blicky match my fit. I got on pink, so you know I brought them fit out of this bitch. I can't wait. Tell me what's the deal You always keep shit to yourself Come tell me how you feel You always asking about a bitch Trying to tell you what's real Me They telling you lies and tweets I don't believe what y'all eyes can see Bad little bitch and she from the hood I want you to have my prodigy Read my psychology Hope you accept my apology For all the shit I done did Ain't too many arguments I fuck a good and I buy her wig At first she was acting hard as shit Like why you acting hard to get This nigga ain't talking about shit It's me Why you acting hard to hit For real He play he ain't hard to kill Shot to his brain he ain't hard to spill I keep it too so I know it's bitch so they open? Oh. Um, are y'all open yet? At the moment, we're not open, but we'll be open in about five minutes. Do y'all buy any chance to get a reservation? Nope. Does that, does, do we have to have one? You don't have to have one, but let me get you that one. So, in five minutes, we'll meet y'all all set on it. Okay. How's y'all think of it? I'm glad to hear that it was going good. I'm good also. May I get a phone number? Uh, 470. Okay, nice to meet you too, Kai. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What it do, y'all? It's Kay, and I'm back with another review. And I know it's been it's been taking me a long ass time to drop these re reviews from Kentucky. But fresh me, I almost reviewed them out of here because they was everywhere. I said, God damn, they got a crack crisis down this bitch. Somebody need to what the fuck? Keep rushing me to post these goddamn reviews. I go to sleep and wake up and breathe. With Anyways, me and my girl was riding around trying to find something to review, and I know that I was checking my comments, and y'all told me to go to uh, Daisha's Barber, and I'm like, Daisha's Barber? I don't want to go nowhere and eat what they could have. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was a little confused. Y'all kept the Daisha Barber, Daisha Barber. I don't want no stud to cut my hair right now. I thought this would be a stud, a stud that could have Daisha's Barber Shop or something. And the front don't make it no better. That's that damn, that's that throwback ass Barber Shop. Anyways, y'all, fit check, fit check, so fresh, make your bitch sweat, wet, all that. If you if you from Louisville, uh, Kentucky, my bad, y'all, for calling it motherfucking Kentucky, because that's what the map said. They said, baby, we our own state. All right. Uh, all right, that's that's cool. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was down there. I ain't running to not now, fan. I don't think I got that many supporters down there. It wasn't nothing but caucasity everywhere. I a look. girl called herself trying to dress like me today. Hi. And she wonder why we got back to the room and we ain't do nothing frisky. I'm not freaking no stud or, 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 or nothing like that. But I like um downtown Louisville. This looks really nice. But is it what y'all trying to do, cop in New Orleans? Or did y'all come with, up with Bourbon City and Street first? Because, you know, I don't know the history or nothing. I didn't, I didn't pay too much attention in that class. As soon as they started teaching about the Aztecs and the I Text and text and shit. I'd say, hey, I closed my textbook. Now, anyways, y'all, Dacia's Barber is a nice ass restaurant located in Louisville, Louisville, because like they said, they not Kentucky. And um, I can't lie, y'all, it's a nice ass restaurant with some great ass customer service. I mean, the goddamn receptionist almost scared me. How's y'all think? Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that it was going good. I'm good. Also, may I get a phone number? Uh, seven one. Hey, may I get a name? K. Okay. Miss K. Yep. Okay, nice to meet you too, Kai. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. If y'all want to, you can go upstairs and wait on the gold couch. I'll be up there. Just a few moments to get your set. Okay, do you want to? Yeah. Nah, for real, she got some good-ass customer service, but shit. Somebody take the battery out of her back. She sound like a robot. Honestly, though, I'm so mad that I didn't tip her because she had the best. When I say the best customer service in the world, and guess how old she is? Six the mother. Now, y'all, this restaurant is so nice to me. I, I really like it. Like, it's really giving, like, bourbon in New Orleans. Y'all see the little pom-pom things and shit? Y'all, they ain't know I was coming. I just like to pop up places. I was doing all my, rev my reviews in Kentucky for free. So I just was popping up places, and everybody was so excited to see me. And I, w I, w I was excited to see them, too, until I got to the front. And this one goddamn, I don't know if she the cook or what, she got to talking about my ex and shit in front of my girls. You look better than... Go shut the f*** up. I want to hear that shit. I can't review the food. For real, my motherfuckers had just died, feel like playing don't play with me right now ho i almost sent you somewhere nah it's gone on with that plan and now, shit. anyways if y'all seen that mail that is the cook i like how he came out and introduced himself so y'all if anything is nasty we're gonna blame him but he was super cool he came out and told me the shit that you know what i'm saying were they specialties and what he thought i should order and just you know what i'm saying that he was a fan of my work and you know what I appreciate you, my brother. But honestly, y'all, don't rush me to do no food reviews. I've been going through a lot of shit, okay? Keep trying to rush me to do these food reviews. I'm going to go through your ass. And I, I mean exactly what I don't care how it sound. I'm going through some shit. 
take me through something else, I'm going to go through your ass. But now, honestly, I've just been going through a lot of survivor's remorse Um, because I got a lot of friends that just have been dying lately, and it makes me feel like, damn, I wish they were here to see this shit. Like, it's just a bunch of shit that I've been going through. But anyways, y'all, let's get into this full review. You know, they got one of them QR code menus, and then... Um, it show you pictures of the food. I kind of like the QR code menus now. At first, I was like, uh-uh, what if my grandma come in here and she ain't got no motherfucking iPhone and she don't know how to pull up no QR code on her Android? Don't, don't confuse my grandma. But, you know, honestly, grandma, you fucked. You got to go get your iPhone because they, they got QR code menus. Now, I don't like how they placed me right in front of the window like I'm on display in this because all them right there available. Y'all gonna see me dead in the damn window. Like, well, shit. I felt like a commercial scene right there. But I ain't mind, y'all. It's something about the sun. You know what I'm saying? It, it gives me energy. Now, this restaurant itself is a vibe. Like, I like the music that they was playing. I said, okay, now. Soul sister and this just smell the velocity of the aroma in the air. I had to go ahead on and take my grill out, bitch. I was ready to eat. And y'all know I don't eat with my grill in. I'ma always advertise Colgate anytime I see somebody eating with their grill in. I tell y'all every time your baby daddy brush stank because he keep eating that with, with that in. And if you keep having church bomb, your children gonna come out with gingivitis. I don't see how y'all go to sleep with that shit. I don't give a fuck how beige my teeth feels the same yellow as the collar on my shirt. And I, my breath don't stink though. Anyways, y'all, they got the pinkest lemonade I've never drunk in my life, but it was good. It, it ain't no, it went no bad pink lemonade, but it's, it was pinky fuck. They got a real, like the, the menu ain't too wide. It's like the regular old soul food type of shit that be on there. But as an appetizer, I ordered the uh the collard green dip. And y'all know whenever I see some fried green tomatoes on some, 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 some mother menu that's what i'm uh i'm gonna get every time i love fried green tomato but i started off with the collard green dip bitch because it looked so good i almost dipped my ass in it lord jesus and i tell you the truth it to that i like the fuck i like that what the fuck? shit was good as hell when i be sitting in those restaurants i be trying not to do the most because goddamn i'm trying to be you know gordon ramsey about myself i be trying not to you know what i'm saying give a damsy about impressing nobody or showing people my smiles when i really like the food but I'm not gonna lie, guys. Delicious. It was so literally delicious. Now, the fried green tomatoes. If you like yours real type crunchy and shit, just tell them to fry them a little harder. I must say, y'all know I like to give my critiques and my, 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 my criticism on everything. I think that it should be a little more seasoned. It wasn't nasty at all, but you know how when something's not seasoned, but it come with sauce, so the sauce save it. Like the, the little dip, the dip sauce that I, they gave me, it definitely saved it. But I feel as though if you season it, you wouldn't need no, just, just trust me, season it a little a little hard. Now, let's get into the entrees, y'all. I ordered so much shit, it don't make no damn sense. And I keep wondering why I keep gaining weight in places that weight don't even fucking belong. Why the fuck my fingernails getting thick? I'm talking about everything getting thick. My ass, my attitude. I'm, I'm kind of sick of the shit. But anyways, I ordered their famous jerk pasta that they, they, they roster pasta jerk, whatever the fuck it is. Some chicken and waffles, some fried fish, some macaroni, some sweet potato casserole, some greens. I mean, goddamn it, everything back there but ass. And um, I decided to go ahead on and start off with the, with the chicken and waffles. And I'm going to tell y'all now, I don't give a fuck. Nobody to lie on they food. But that chicken and waffles was mother so soft and sweet. They had glazed it with, you know what I'm saying? Like some type of uh caramel and cream. It was so velocity was literally amazing. I have never had anything like this in my life, guys. The the, the waffle tasted exactly like a cake, y'all. Now, when I order chicken and waffles, I always think you're gonna give me some chicken wings, because I feel like it's a sin to sit up there and get somebody some chicken tenders, but I let it slide. I let it slide because I bet it said that on the menu that it was going to come out with some other tenderloins. But all right, it's all right. I, I ate the, uh, I still ate the, the, the bird walk out that chicken. But don't get me started on that motherfucker. Y'all, I tell you the truth. Whoever in the back frying that goddamn fish can come fry me. I mean, when I say not everybody can fry fish, y'all always say, how can you fish in plenty of ways, baby? When I tell you this fish right here was so motherfucking. Good and the velocity of the the, the crunch of the fr it was so del it was delicious sauce bitch. and that hot sauce made it top it topped it all off. I love putting a red dress on my fish topped it all the way off the only thing I was missing if you ask me was a little mustard I don't know about y'all I like mustard and y'all know as a side I had ordered me some macaroni and cheese too I don't know if I said that now the macaroni I'm a, um it was actually seasoned to perfection it was real good it wasn't sweet the only thing I did like was like you know how when you eat some macaroni and it's so cheesy to the point where the cheese Tastes like it's some glue in there, like the school glue. It was just so cheesy that I couldn't enjoy it. I'm sorry, shit. Whoop my ass. Look, I cannot like something. And, and, and the sweet potato casserole, I'm gonna be real. It was good. I know how good it was because I ate that then and I went back to my hotel room and ate it the fuck up. I didn't leave that on the table. That was actually good. I mean, but it wasn't giving casserole to me. It was more like a pie, like it was more solid. Now, them Brussels sprouts, um, them gonna get somebody arrested. Them was not 
okay. That shit tasted like vinegar. And I felt like it was being racist. I said, damn, did this shit just call me the N-word? But it wasn't the worst I've had. I've had uh, a lot of bad Brussels sprouts. It wasn't the worst. It was one of them, though. And I honestly think y'all had spoiled me too bad with the um the green, the collard green dip to the point where I ain't give a regular collard greens. That damn dip. That I'm telling y'all, the magnitude of the collard green dip was so magnificent. But out of everything on the menu, if you ask me what I truly didn't really care for, like everything else was smooth, but what I didn't care for was the pasta. Y'all, I'm going to just stop ordering salmon because I only like it when it's made at my house. Because I don't know, I just... I didn't like it. What you gonna do? What y'all? What you gonna do? I ain't like it, y'all. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't dry. It dripped. It was. It was moist. I feel like if you go order it and you really like a big salmon person, you may like it. Like go order the salmon and let me know what you think about it. Um, now y'all, they got desserts too. I ended up ordering the the sweet potato cheesecake. I believe that's what it was called. And I ain't gonna lie, that motherfucker good. That was that, that cake was sweet as. And I actually liked it. And honestly, though, for some reason, the more older I get, the less I like cheesecake. But that cheesecake wasn't too bad. You feel me? Like, it was like some regular old cheesecake. I just didn't like the... I think everybody on Earth at restaurants should use Bluebell ice cream. That's the best ice cream in the world. But I realized every state don't even sell Bluebell ice cream. Like, everybody don't even know about Bluebell. Do they sell it in New York? Because I'm telling y'all, a lot of places don't be selling Bluebell. And honestly, y'all, speaking of New York... When I got on this bridge, that's where it felt like I was at. The only thing it was missing was the Eiffel Tower. Well, now I thought a tornado was finna pop up down there, bitch. I was a little, I was a little nervous. But anyways, y'all, I got hella reviews on the way, okay? So if you know this neighborhood or if you know uh this location, then you already know what my next review finna be, okay? Yeah, put two and two together and get whatever you need, all right? And it's only right that I do a wig giveaway after this video. I'm going to give away a wig, a haircut, and a retwist. So make sure y'all share this video on Facebook in order to enter to win. I keep me a tool so I know this bitch ain't hard to drill uh, Tell me you want me You keep telling me you scared, I'm saying don't be All these hoes want me, but I'm the one they won't see I hate how they on you, you hate how they on What it do y'all, it's Kay and I'm back with another review And if you didn't know, I've been in Louisville, Kentucky for like I was there for like three days and I was trying to get as many reviews as I could done. And if anything, I like to ask the people what they want me to review and they all kept saying, go to Veronica's, go to Veronica's and shit, I was scared. Cause honestly, a lot of people kept saying, man, that shit nasty, that shit flavorless. I don't f Veronica. And I, you know, if everybody say Veronica messy, then Veronica messy. Nah, for real, I'm just playing. Veronica's is like a little Espanol restaurant where they sell burrito, you know, tacos, the, you know what the f yeah. And when I walked in, it honestly looked like one of them little family um Espanol restaurants. I said, all right, look at this, look, look at this, I like it, amigo, I like it. It looks nice in here. Honestly, is that Mexican's favorite color, yellow and shit? Y'all like yellow. Y'all throw some yellow on across any wall y'all on. But it was so much shit being said about this restaurant that I was so anticipated to try, you feel me? So when I got the menu, y'all know I had to show y'all. And don't play with the f***, don't, don't, don't play with, 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 you know what, play with, play with Veronica at this point. I don't give a f Shit got me stuck. But not for y'all. Don't play with Veronica because this this menu looks nice. Okay, look at that. Cute color. Look, yellow. They love them some yellow. It don't matter what it is. They're going to throw some yellow and some red inside some shit. Now, y'all, Veronica is the owner, and this is the owner's daughter. And this whole time, she was like, I, she was anticipating on me coming, but she didn't know if I was coming. And like I said, y'all, I did all of my reviews in Louisville for free, so I was just popping up at places what you got hit me with your best shot and y'all this woman was so nice she was so sweet she told me how they started this business and you know what i'm saying they just like to please their supporters in the hood she told me her mama had the um the option to change locations but decided to not change the locations because she wanted to stay where people supported her from the jump she ain't want to get big and then change on her people you feel me now i don't know if y'all seen when i first walked in but it was a motherfucking powder head following me talking about some mad at me because i ain't had three dollars you got three dollars no i walk around with the exact number of three damn dollars Oh. Yeah, anyways, fit check. Y'all seen it in the last one. I make a bitch sweat, do all type of shit. I really want to stuff my outfit because I already gave y'all a fit check in my last full review on the same day. Y'all, I was just stuffing myself, trying to get these reviews done for y'all. But anyways, um, this is a nice ass restaurant. They even seen people happy birthday in that bitch. Yay, happy, happy continuera. And they was honestly so happy to have me there. I mean, they was talking me down and they took a picture with me. I said, okay, I must be somebody. Hoodsy Ramsey in his hole. Don't play with me. Gordon really ain't got shit on me. Like, for real. I, I just really let him have it. But y'all know I'm greedy, so I ordered a couple things. That's why I've been um taking breaks off full reviews. I refuse to have four bags. So I already got two. The fuck? I could do two, but four is literally just too much. Just sitting here killing myself trying to lose weight. Drinking some Keisha K-O-T. -K 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 shit now shit. I ain't even ate yet. I ain't drinking that shit no more. The fuck? 
Feel like that shit eating up the lining of my stomach. I'm not fooling with that shit no more. But anyways, y'all, I ordered a lot of shit. I had chicken and beef burrito egg rolls. I had burrito tacos. I had a grilled cheese burrito sandwich. Burrito, 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 burrito. God damn it. Shit, at this point. And I think that other sandwich I had was called a torta, torta. I don't even look. Ask a Mexican. I don't know what the f had. I forgot what the hell I ordered. But I know them fries was good as f like taco, taco Bell fries. All I need is a, like a side of cheese with them bitches. Now, y'all, I started off with the grilled cheese burrito, the burrito grilled cheese, whatever the f call it. And I should have, I should have ate that last. I should have saved the best for last. That shit was so mother cheesy, but DZ, it was gooder than a. Now, like, I, I thought that it was going to, y'all had me thinking that everything at the restaurant was just all bland and nasty, but no, that motherfucker, um, grilled cheese was gooder than the motherfucker real hoe. And you got to understand, it's like they perfect the damn cheese pool. That shit was literally amazing. The velocity of the cheese pool was so beautiful, and, and the, the velocity and the magnitude and the flavors of the consume dip, consume, con the, 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 the car oil, the car engine oil, it was lit, lit. WD-40. It was literally amazing. Um, not for real. I think the consume dip is it's called consume, but you know how we call it car engine oil. The shit was good as f Everybody can't make no good ass consume. And honestly, guys, you know, I drink it and after I drink it, I become a Michigan. I like it. I know. I know no, I like it. I think that it was very delicious and it was very different from any of the consume I had, you know. I must admit the, the, the best Mexican food I ever had was in LA. It's like so many Mexicans on every corner, so I expected them to perfect the Mexican foods because I mean you guys are everywhere. I mean you, you must perfect the food. Now the chicken burrito egg roll, I know lack of them all just just too cheesy and it make me feel like I ate the ball of fork. I had the chicken consume and I have the beef consume so with the chicken egg roll I dip it in the chicken consume the and it I don't like it it was too much cheese I feel like where is the chicken there's no chicken there it's just like the velocity of the chicken was not there I it was not there but the burrito the burrito egg roll it was more so you know I I kind of like it I I feel as though I understand what the guys are saying when they say there's no like it's a bit of Bland on the seasoning. I think you guys should just, you know, just season it a bit more. And maybe, you know, the, you know, we are African American, but you know, I'm part Mexican, but you know, my black friends and my black family, they like a lot of seasoning. And that's why their ankles are very big and large because they have diabetes or, or, or high cholesterol or whatever it's called. And guys, make sure they give you guys a lime because the lime adds more flavor through everything. If you just drip a little bit of the lime on top of everything, it's so. Delicious. No, seriously, amigos and amigos, you have to come and try this restaurant. Like, I like it, Coron. It was delicious to me. And I, this right here, guys, I think this was called the tortas. I'm, I'm not sure because I'm not not fully Mexican. You know, if you're not fully Mexican, they don't teach you everything because they feel like, you know, they don't fuck with that. You know, around the corner where I stay at, and when blacks and, and Mexicans get together, we, we, we fight. My mama and my papa told me they better not never see me with the African boy or it's going to be problems. So I know I don't talk to boys at all. I just said fuck all boys. Now, guys, I decided to order the Tres Leches cake and I, I wish I had decided to keep it on the menu because I don't like the Tres Leches cake. I don't know. I don't know who in the fuck made the Tres Leches cake, but we're going to try to make less of the cakes, okay? It wasn't disgusting, guys. It was just that it wasn't for me because I've had I've had very fine dining uh, Tres Leches cakes. So this was right here. It was like very, very under the velocity of the kind that I usually eat, guys. You know, you know, I, I've been to a lot of places and I had a lot of Tres Leches cakes and they, they're actually delicious, but I know like of that. Now, guys, I forgot that I had the tacos in another um, container, so I tried them after that. I, I tried the Tres Leches cake and the tacos were literally amazing, guys. I had chicken and I had um, um, um beef. The beef ones are literally amazing, but honestly, guys, I think I like the chicken burrito more. The chicken burrito, it literally, it was so f Guys, you have to pour the sauce on it and you have to dip it inside of the consomme and you will understand exactly where I'm coming from, guys. Now, please, guys, please, I'm begging you, don't leave this review unless you go follow me on Instagram. Please, guys, I, I, I only ask.